Hello friends, this is Lindsay for So Fancy. In today's video tutorial, we will be sharing with you how to do the knockout text technique. So this is a technique that allows you to um, highlight um, a word, like the word mom, and then um, feature some text in front of it, um, like her kids' names. Um, of course, you can customize this to make it say whatever you like, um, but it's a really popular um, technique, and uh, we'll show you how to do it in the Silhouette Studio Studio designed software, which is a free design software. So go ahead and fire it up and uh, we'll get started. First, you'll type the background word, which we're using the word mom and size that appropriately for your project um, and give it a fill color if it doesn't have one. And fonts that work really well for the background are like a sans font, um, just like a plain basic uh, kind of text. And the font that we used is called Beautiful Day. Then you're going to type the frontmost text. And these are going to be uh, like the kids' names. Um, but you could, you know, customize this text to anything you want it to say. Uh, but script fonts really, really work well for the front text. And so the font that we chose is the script font called Charismatic. So then go ahead and just size and position that um, script frontmost text over the background, um, you know, as desired where you like it. Then you're going to select the uh, text, the frontmost text, and open the offset panel and apply an offset around the text. And however large you make the offset is how big the knockout space will be in that background word. So to do the actual knockout, what you'll do is um, open the modify panel next, um, select the background word and the offset, then click subtract. And so then after subtracting, um, the background word um, is maybe split into um, you know several different pieces. So um, might be a good idea to just select it all and then group it together. And then just go ahead and separate the front text from the background word and you can cut these out in different colors of vinyl. And then you can create some really special and beautiful customized projects like this a clear acrylic sign. So after weeding out the excess vinyl from around um, both the background and then the script font, uh, you'll use transfer tape to then transfer the vinyl onto the clear acrylic. And I like to do that um, using the hinge method, and I'll put a piece of parchment paper behind the weeded vinyl on the transfer tape, cut around it, and then um, I can see through the parchment to position where I want the mom to be, and then I'll just put a piece of tape down the center so that I can uh, peel back one side of the transfer tape and um, remove the parchment from that side, and then lay the transfer tape right back down and repeat then on the other side. And then burnish it down really good and uh, remove the transfer tape. And then I'll do the same exact thing with the the names, the script scripty frontmost text. And uh, because you know the parchment paper is translucent, I can see through it. I can uh, get it um, all lined up perfectly, exactly where I want it. Um, place that tape down and um, then use it as a hinge um, to fold back that transfer tape and remove the parchment. And then, you know, again, just burnish it down, burnish it down really well and remove the transfer tape. So that's how you do the knockout text technique. So we hope you enjoyed it and uh, start creating some projects of your own. If you liked the fonts that we used um, to create the sign that we did, then uh, you'll find them in the giant script font bundle at So Fancy. And there's a link in the video description, so I hope you click on that to check it out. And then um, have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.